Last Sunday I was at Shiloh. And I introduced I introduced something. And uh, you, 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 there was introduction. Now here is preaching. That was introduction. But because of the, dy the dynamics of our church. There could be some people that are here from Shiloh. Sio kwamba nimekuona. I've not seen you yet. Yaani usiende ukasema na bishop anatujuagaje hapana. Siku kuona. But you could be here and you remember where we started. Naweza kuwa hapa na labda utakumbuka tulianza wapi. I started by saying this. Nianza kwa kusema haya. Me I like winning. Mimi napenda sana kushinda. Je wewe? Every time I win I feel Great. And sometimes the winning comes in very interesting ways. One of my winning was at my lowest level. On a Friday, I had refused to go to Kejabi High School because I wanted to study in Thika. With my marks. I wanted Thika High School or Thika Technical. Those are the, the schools I wanted. So I decided I would rather repeat. And with my result, no school in Thika could refuse me. So I went to one that were introducing boys for the first, you know a school that had girls for years, now they were introducing girls, boys. So we were going to be the first boys in class 7 there. And the headmaster was my headmaster somewhere else. So when I saw him, he agreed. So at 11, I joined class 7. With all the pride of life. Because I was not a failure. I had passed. I had my 20 something points. Those were the days that 36 was the top. Eleven. I was accepted. At three, I was expelled. That evening, I was in jail. That Monday, I missed my court where I was supposed to go. I went with for bigger people and I was a, a juvenile. So I was taken back to jail. But then I was told, now next time you come, go to the juvenile. And I was asked what I was doing where I was arrested. I lied. First of all, the name I gave because I had no ID was a name I had to remember because if you don't remember they will call it and you don't remember I was come out someone from Kandara somewhere now some people are hearing this for the first time like my wife and and, and, and Mungai because they are in the house so I was asked why were you where we arrested you. I said, that I said a lie, but I gave a truth also. Because my show, show was in a place called Kavati. Kavati. A place called Mokerejo. At the lower, lower level of the primary school. So I knew the place. 
But I said I was going to see my Shosho, which was true. Shosho lived in Kabati. But what I was doing, I was selling MB, Suta, and Capsus. My first victory was when my lie worked. And I was released. What a happy guy I was. As I crossed the tarmac on the freedom side, I still remember the quote. Victory. Victory feels so good. Tell your neighbor, you feel so good. No longer in jail. I am free. The second freedom. The other thing about my father who was a pastor was very calm man. I, I normally pray, I want to be as calm as my father. My father was a calm man. <laughs> Class 4, we, we used to start writing with ink. And the pen was youth. Youth. I don't know whether the youth is still remaining. Youth. Hey. Narangi. But every time I will tell my father, when you write with a pen, it writes so well. And what you write is permanent. May he live forever. Pastor Francis. He would smile back and say, I know. Then I'll go back to school the following day and I'll be beaten. Happy Mother's Day. Mothers, live forever. After being beaten for a while, my mother who is still living with me, she's 90 something. I would tell her how beaten I have been beaten every now and then. She told me. Go tell him you want a pen and ink. So I gathered courage. I said, Daddy, I want a pen and ink so that I can write like others. He pulled a drawer somewhere and gave me a pen and ink. And he told me, I bought it in January, but you never needed it. So I kept it until you need it until now. Fathers, may God help you. I know you are still disciplining them. But may, may the children also have some freedom with you. So I'm set free. My father never looked for me. He knew I was in jail, but he never looked for me. My mother did. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. My father didn't. I'm telling you, he's a cool man. Handle your issues. If you don't tell me, I will not come. I will not interfere with your life. So when I, when I went home so that I can change, I found a letter of invitation to Thika Technical. He had it on Friday. He did not look for me over the weekend until now. I'm, I'm telling him because he is looking at me and I'm telling him, Nimelala, Sikumbili, Nimelala, Sikumbili, Nimelala, Sasa. You know, then he gives me a letter. Ah, those are the days. May God give this government to take us back to those days. All what you needed to buy are two shirts. Nothing else. Unapewa socks. Unapewa tie. Unapewa overo ya kufanya kazi. Unapewa suruali za kuvaa. Nishati tu unapewa suruali za kuvaa. Kwanza unapewa kaki. American kaki. Hii ya white ni ya kutembea Saturday na Sunday. 
Now that was victory. What do you call that? Victory. On Saturday, I'm walking on the streets of Thika. Who do I see on the other side of the road? It is the teacher who expelled me. Who caused me to be expelled. What would you do? You would do like me. I smiled at him, lifted my tie, and greeted him. Oh, the feeling of victory. May God cause you to feel the same. That you can even tell the devil what you thought for evil. God has turned it around for good. I love winning. I don't know whether you do. Any time a vict overtakes me on the highway, I see the driver smile back at how they have overtaken me because of the victory they have. I know some of you also do the same. When you overtake a driver with a big machine, you look at them. You are actually telling them, you are actually telling them, you are actually telling them, you machine actually telling them, So winning is what you and I go for. But the Bible tells us we have victory. Tell your neighbor we have victory. We have victory. In Genesis chapter number 4 then the Lord said to Cain where are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, you will be you will, if you if if you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do do what is not right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. In other words, you have power over it. Tell your neighbor we have victory. 1 John 5, 4 and 5. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Which is our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the son of God. In other words, we have victory. You have victory. I'm looking at victorious men and women. victoria. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, so there I only introduced. And I want to a little bit just what I said there. Then I will preach to you. So it's good for you to be ready. And I know you will be blessed. Because I'm already blessed before I finish my preaching. We have victory. But the Bible says, faith is our victory. We need faith for us to be victorious. We need to have faith to be victorious. And there are many things that you and I can win over. Victory over anxiety. Victory over discouragement. Victory over boredom and fear. Victory over grief and depression. Victory over despair and loneliness. Victory over sin. Faith 
is the victory. And if the, then faith is the victory, we need to know a little bit about faith. Faith, number one, in general, it is the persuasion of the mind that a certain statement is true. If, if the Lord speaks to you one word, now faith is believing that word is true. It is not only believing, it's being persuaded that what is said is true. Now that is faith. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the primary idea there is trust. Two, it is a strong conviction or trust in something. NIV translates Hebrew 11 verse 1 this way. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for. To be sure, faith is that persuasion that what God has said, I, it is sure, it is true. And it continues to say, and certain of what I have not seen. So faith is that deeper persuasion. It is deeper within me. It is making me sure what I hope for will come to pass. I am certain that even what I believe for, it will come to pass. That is what faith is. You know we have faith in our parents. Faith in our parents. I don't know whether you have faith in your parents. Faith in your parents. Even when they were punishing you like you are a a neighbor's child. You know, you are beaten until you wonder, really, daddy, are you really? Am I really or are you my daddy wakambo? But we have faith in those parents. Why do we have faith in them? Because when your father and mother promises you something, we have faith they will do it. In the first service, the speaker reminded us that children are not bothered. The fees, how you are going to pay it, is up to you. Bless your heart. They will cry when they are hungry is up to you. Where you are going to get food from. But they have faith when you tell them. We are only crying today. But tomorrow there will be food on the table. We have faith in our parents. I told people at Shiloh I only got to learn that what my father used to earn could not do the things that he used to tell me. But at a certain time, I thought my father, nani tajiri kama baba yangu. But when he died, and we looked at his pacely, we discovered that man was a man of faith. Because even before he died, a few months before he died, he told me he was going to buy a matatu. With the 200 shillings, he was going to buy a matatu. I'm, I'm not saying 2,000, I'm saying 200 shillings. I'm not saying 200 shillings. I'm not saying 200 shillings. Unless Si unaelewa eh? Ni tokej mall nivuke upande. Kuna ka kioski hapo karibu. Nivuke upande huu. Ninaweza fagia chai na dunga imechanganywa na mayai na nirudishiwe change. Lakini ukiingia Java ukae chini. Kahawa 240. Kama una bahati kama ukuli ile chungu chungu. Inakuwa kabei 
Kwa hivyo ukinipa 200 na nikwambie nitanunua matatu. What am I going to tell? What am I telling you? Nakwambia nini kwa shirika? I must have another source. Which is not what you are seeing with your eyes. And that is what I want you to have faith in God. That what I have in the hands of God, the translation is what I need. That is what faith is all about. That I have victory. And faith is my victory. The victory that overcomes the world. Even my faith. But today I want to talk about how to overcome sin. And that's why I read Genesis chapter number 4. It's good for us to know that faith in God is a strong conviction and the trust in Jesus as Christ is the son of God. In the book of Acts 8 and verse 37. The book of Acts 8 and verse 37. I know somebody is going to help us and save us from looking at the screen. Then Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. And this eunuch got born again. That conviction and trust in Jesus. Two, it is that conviction that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. That I cannot go to the Father any other way. That deep conviction. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is a strong conviction and trust that comes Two ways. The word of God. Romans 10 and verse 7. Romans 10 and verse 7. Romans 10 and verse, 7. Romans 10 and verse number 17. Number 17. Sorry, number 17. So then, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. As you hear me speak, may faith be born within you. Because faith in Christ comes by hearing what God has done for others. We believe he can do it for us. Hallelujah. Secondly, it is that conviction it is the evidence provided by the word of God. The word of God provides evidence. John 20 verse 30 and 31. John 20, 30 and 31. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Evidence. And truly Jesus did many, many other signs in the presence of disciples which are not written in this book, but number 31. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And that believing, you may have life in his name. The evidence is found in the word of God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Therefore, we have victory. But victory can only be found in our faith. It's not just victory. You know, there are many things that I want to become. One of it is that, and I know, I, and I, know, I know it. One of it is to tone my muscles. Toning your muscles. Otherwise, but you have to tone your muscles. The only way to tone your muscles, Gashuru, is to go to the gym. I know it. I have paid for it. But I don't go there. So, 
So this knowledge here is not victory. I wish it would work miracles. That kakaraka babra and something happens. I am that slim boy that I want to become. It doesn't happen that way. Machuma bwana. Lazima uinue machuma bwana. Jimmy inua chuma. Nikomba Jimmy inua chuma. Oh, I like that face. Inua chuma Jimmy. Natamani sura lakini inua chuma. Usi tafadhali tumwambie Jimmy afanye kitu. Mwambie Jimmy afanye nini? Chukua chuma. Wacha kuturafishia shingo. Chukua chuma. And I'm not sick. Ni shingo tu imerefuka. But I also know what I need to do. Lakini pia najua nahitaji kufanya nini. Ni machuma. Kuinua chuma. Kima ni chukua chuma. Inua chuma. Kima ni penda chuma. Inua chuma. Fanya orako, fanya kitu. You see, the world we can overcome by faith in Jesus includes anything that, are, that can hinder our relationship with God. Anything that can hinder our relationship with God. We need to overcome it. And victory is our faith. That God can help us. Some of the things that hinder us is anxiety, discontentment, boredom, fear, depression, grief, despair, loneliness, disappointment. So our purpose actually is to illustrate how faith in Jesus can help you and help me overcome sin. Well, sin is not taken too seriously these days. But it should tell your neighbor sin, you should take it seriously. Whatever language people would, would borrow, The problem of sin must be overcome if we are going to overcome anything else. In some cases, sin may be the underlying cause of problems we are facing right now. So we need to deal with it. In any case, Unless we overcome sin, we will not have God's help to overcome the problems which are before us. Cain is being told by God. There are many things that are happening. But you know, unless we deal with the sin, which is still crouching, it is still waiting. But the Lord is telling Cain, but you can You can overcome it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm looking at overcomers. They are the ones that came to church today. You are an overcomer. So in this lesson, I wish to do two things. Carefully define the problem of sin and two explain how faith in Jesus can overcome the problem of sin. Carefully try to define carefully pole pole tu pole pole tu carefully tu the problem of sin because sin is there. And then explain how faith in Jesus can help us overcome sin. Romans 3.23 A very common verse. Romans 3.23 Very, very common scripture. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. How many people 
have sinned, for all have sinned. I'm looking at all. You are part of the all. We have all sinned and we have fallen short of the glory of God. The glory of God is higher than us. We have fallen short of the glory of God. Even if one has committed just one kasin, it is as though they have committed all of them. You know, sometimes Paul amazes me. Because Paul talks like he, he can see me. Or he talks like he can see you. Because Paul says, I wake up in the morning and say, Leo, I'm not going to Leo, Dhambi, Dhambi, Mimi, Unaingia kwa gari, Unaimba nyimbo za kegosho, Kabla hujafika kopareti, Gari inakuja, Karibu yikugonge. Wewe na unamaliza hilo jina lingine. Wewe. So Paulo anasema ninaamuka ninaamua sifanyi dhambi. Lakini ninajikuta ni, nimefanya tu. Kuangalia, kutamani, kufikiria, kiuchoyo, kiburi, tumajivuno Lakini kila siku ukirudi nyumbani unalilia Mungu na mwambia nipe kesho give me tomorrow nipe siku ya kesho you know when i got born again wakati nilipookoka we thought christ was coming actually the following day tulifikiria yesu anarudi siku iliyofuatia he was actually coming. Every sermon was about his coming. The biggest sermon we preached was repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Our biggest conclusion was if you don't repent, you are going to burn with the fire that burns you forever. It was like last Saturday and Sunday. Heaven's gate, hell's flame. That was the message. So every service we went, people cried for their sins. So one boy got saved. Did I tell you, you would only buy shirts? You white. You white. Then one boy got saved. He was the naughtiest in school. He went to the principal and said, I am God born again. And there's some principles that are very cheeky also. So this one, one of them. Sasa huu kijana ameenda kumwambia nimeokoka. Na wewe lazima uokoke mwalimu. Lazima uokoke. Mwalimu akasema ni sawa. Wewe umeokoka nini? Kijana akamwambia mimi nimeokoka. Hata ukinitukana saa hii. Ama useme nini mwalimu? Si umezoea kuniita jinga na bongolala. Niite saa hii. Mwalimu hakumuita jinga na bongolala. Akamwambia kweli kabisa eh, umeokoka kabisa eh. Kumbe mwalimu alikuwa akifungua wino, alikuwa na wino. Anafungua chupa polepole akapiga mwanafunzi na flash chua jijazie <laughs> si umejijazia hiyo answer umejaza ni ya kweli hata wewe umepita so sin is there kwa hivyo dhambi ipo this is because sin is so terrible. And God is so holy. There are two things that you need to understand about sin. It is both legal, guilt, and emotional. So it is legal and emotional. 
Kwa hivyo ni ya kisheria So you get the problem of sin is that there is guilt of sin. Kwa hivyo kuna kuwa na hali ya kwa na ya kisheria and emotional. Na yenye mihemko. Legal guilt means you have violated God's law. Ni kwamba ukifanya kisheria ni kwamba umekaa hivi. Emotional guilt na pertains to one's consciousness. Ambao inachukulia hisia za You become mtu. conscious of sin. Na unaweza kuifahamu. When we know we have done wrong, tukijua tumekosea. We feel guilty. Tunasikia ni kwamba sisi ni wakosefu. Our conscience become burdened by such guilt for our sins. Na tunasikia na mizigo mingi kwa sababu ya dhambi. Even if we have ha- so hardened our conscience, hata kama hisia zetu that we feel no emotion or guilt, na hauna ile ukosefu. The legal guilt remains. Ni kwamba kule kukosea kwa kisheria kuko. You know there are some people that they seem so habitual that they don't feel it. Kuna watu wamezoea kufanya dhambi hivi kwa That's what I'm saying even if your emotion don't feel it. Hata kama hisia zako You are still guilty as charged. Ni kwamba wewe unakosa kama vile umeambiwa. Whether you know it or not. Kama hujui ama unajua. Going back to our Saturday and Sunday. Tukirejelea pale kwa sinema yetu ya weekend iliyopita. It doesn't matter. Haijarishi. Whether you 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 want to feel it emotionally? It is still going to be there. God still holds us accountable. Mungu And he will judge us on the last day. Judgment is coming. He will judge us. It is until then. It is until when we are forgiven because when we are unforgiven that sin prevents us from going to where god wants us to be blessed be the name of the lord so guilt is there it simply means we must bear our burdens alone whatever comfort peace and strength god might provide it is not for one who remains in sin it is the one that I've said to Jesus. Here I am save me. Here I am deliver me. Here I am set me free. Don't forget we are saying we have victory. But faith is our victory. And faith in God. And what God can do. Secondly, because that was number 1. If you missed it, It was the problem of sin. But number two, there is the power of sin. So the, 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 you know sin is not limited to the legal part. Of having guilt. Whether it is emotional or legal guilt. As if guilt is not or is not bad enough sin has also the power to enslave a person so that they cannot do what they really want to do fall is saying i want to do right i don't do it when i said myself i don't do it finally he says what a wretched sinner that i am but he concludes by saying where he is going i'm going to pursue the lord jesus christ i'm going to go to where he is because he knows how to deliver blessed be the name of the lord hallelujah hallelujah so jesus describes the power of sin in the gospel of john chapter 8 verse 31 to 34 jesus is trying to describe the power of sin then jesus said to those Jews, who believed in him if you abide in my word you are my disciples indeed blessed be the name of the lord verse number 32 and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free verse number 33 they answered him we are abraham descendants and have never been bondage to anyone how can you say you will make us free hold it there for a little while you see our biggest problem is that 
we want to justify our position and we want, want to say we are not condemnable because of our lineage. But remember where we started. We said all have sinned. We have fallen short of the glory of God. So the justification of the Jews is not good enough. Verse number 34. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus answered them most assuredly or verily, verily or truly, truly I say to you whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. That is the power of sin. You do it, it's hold of you, find you, you become a slave of sin. May God help us. So in this passage that we have read, it is misapplied to talk about the truth leading to freedom. But they were talking about political freedom. But the freedom under consideration is the freedom from the slavery of sin. When one commits sin, they become a slave to sin. If it controls you, then you become a slave to sin. In the book of Romans 7 verse 14 to 24. Romans 7 14 to 24. For we know that the law is spiritual. But Paul says, but I am cannot sold under sin. For what I am doing, I do not understand. For what I will do, that I do not practice. But what I hate, that I do. Remember what I told you. If then I do what I will not, I will not to do, I agree then with the law that it is good. But now it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, nothing good dwells. For to will is present with me, but how to perform what is good I do not find. Let Let's go back to that verse 18. For I know that it in me, that is in my flesh, nothing good dwells. For to will is present with me. But how to perform what is good, I don't find. Verse number 19. For the good that I will I will to do, I do not do. But the evil I will not to do, that I practice. Now, if I do what I will not to do, it is no longer I who do it. He repeats it again, it is the sin that dwells in me. Verse 20, I find then a law that evil is present with me and it is present with all of us. The one who wills to do good for I delight in the law of God according to the inward man but I see another law in my members wearing against the law of my mind and bringing me into the captivity of the law of sin which is in my members. Verse 24. O oh, wretched men that I am who will deliver me? Who will deliver me? Blessed be the name of the Lord. So Paul says, I am sold under sin, verse number 14. He could not do what he wanted. And he, what he did not wish, he did. Verse number 15. He found that sin dwells in him, verse 17 and 20. Though he decided to do good, how to perform what is good I do not find what a complex he finds himself in he found himself brought into captivity in the law of sin which was in his members it made him wretched 
crying out for deliverance from this body of death verse number 24 the power of sin sin is like a powerful drug to which you become enslaved addicted until you are you, you can be set free until you are set free because it gets hold of you and any addiction that you are in it is that sin getting hold of you but I want you to believe with me today that I have victory and my victory is my faith in God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That God who can deliver me. That God who can set me free. That God who can set me from addiction of whatever form and whatever nature. Through faith in Jesus, there can be victory in overcoming sin. Number three, how faith in Jesus overcomes sins. I think number one is providing the forgiveness of sin. Remission of sin is promised in those who believe in Jesus. Jesus became our appropriation. He became a sacrifice to appease God on our behalf. Such forgiveness is promised to those who have faith in Jesus. I have faith in God. I have repented my sins. I have changed my mind. I am following the Lord Jesus. I have been baptized in him. I have been buried and resurrected in him. It's no longer I that live it, but Christ who lives within me. I have been lifted up and I am in the heavenly place with the Lord Jesus. Forgiveness continues as we repent and confess our sins. I want to speak to you that you can have victory over that which is putting you down by declaring in your spirit this one God forgive me I'm walking into the newness of my life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May God give you victory. Umelia sana every now and then the same thing may God give you victory and the victory you have is in the faith you have in the Lord can he forgive you can he deliver you can he redeem you if the answer is yes now that faith will give you victory blessed be the name of the Lord Number two, by providing the power of a sin. In Romans 6, verse 6 and 7. Romans 6, verse 6 and 7. Knowing this, that our old men. Oh, let's read it together. This is powerful. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him. That the body of sin might be done away with. That we should no longer be slaves of sin. Hey, verse 7. For he who has died has been freed from sin. May the Lord free you. May you die into that sin. And may freedom come. Paul speaks from freedom of sin. We should no longer be slaves. We can be freed from sin. Later on Paul says in Romans 8. Verse 1 and 2. And verse that, 12 and 13. Verse 1 and 2 Romans 8. There is therefore now. Let's read it together because this is powerful, isn't it? Higher. There is therefore now no condemnation to who? To those who are in Christ Jesus. Who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit. Verse number two. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Hold it there. Let all of us confess. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. May that freedom be yours in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse number 12 and 13. Verse number 12 and 13 said, Therefore, brethren, we are debtors 
not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. Verse number 13. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if you live by the spirit, you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. I'm talking to people that are living. You will live. But you have to condemn and judge your sin. Victory is our faith in the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me make this conclusion. If then victory is, if my faith is my victory, it is the conviction that I have with the, the work that of the cross that Jesus has done. I appropriate what he did for me. And I live in the newness of life. So therefore, to the one who is willing to believe in Jesus, to the one who is ready to trust and have conviction to do what Jesus says, then that faith in him will release victory to you. Faith is the victory. Let me say again, faith is the victory. If you have faith in God, even over that thing that you are crying for, it will come to pass. But faith it needs some works in it. You need to do some works in it to, to, to have that conviction within you. Kama amesema, maisha yangu yatabadilika. Kama amesema, atatenda. Kama amesema, niko huru, niko huru. Kama amesema, nimebarikiwa. I will have faith in God. Because that faith in him, it turns into my Victory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to be victorious. Then I need to have faith in him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Over the legal and emotional guilt of sin. Over the power of sin which easily enslaves me. Oh faith, my faith is the victory. And you know what? Over everything that you need this morning. Everything that you need this morning. I know, oh Bishop, I know. In the first, in the first service, the preacher reminded us the taxes that you will be taxed. Look at your neighbor. If ukiona ni mtu amefanya kazi mwambie wewe utaona. Maoti. Ushuru. <laughs> Nyinyi watu wa biashara simeanza kukimbizwa na watu wa KRA. Sema amina kama uko na biashara. Amen. Wande watu wa biashara ni watano. <laughs> Hebu Mungu atuf- atupatie watu wa biashara wengi hapa. Amen. Ili tukikimbizwa tukikimbizwa na KRA tuna kitu tunaweza patia KRA. Huyo muhubiri akatukumbusha. Na hiyo ni naamini kweli kabisa. Kabisa ni naamini. When we go to our lowest, then God will lift us up if we have faith in him. There must be a difference. Asijali, tupewe mshahara na wewe, mia, 100,000, mimi na wewe. Mimi nitoe 10,000, taithi. Na wewe ukule yako mia. Maisha yako na yangu angalia atakuwa na tofauti. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu mimi nimekuwa nimenyeweka kinga. 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 Sio mwambie jirani yako kuna kinga bwana. Kuna kinga. Imani hiyo yako ndiyo ushindi, ndiyo kinga. Eh ni, ni alipohubiri hivyo nikaona kama anataka kuhubiri ujumbe wangu. Because I'm going to have faith when they have taxed everything they tax. Kwa sababu nitakuwa na imani wakitosha ushuru kila kwa kila kitu. Mimi nilianza kufanya kazi wakati walikuwa wakiniangalia wanashindwa wata tax nini. Nikaendelea wakaona wanaweza kata kitu, wakakata. Wakaniangalia tena wakasema wewe wacha tukuongeze kodi, wakaongeza. Mwambie jirani yako, sijafikisha hapo wamesema lakini hiyo 35 sijafikisha. Lakini uniombee nifikishe. 
si ndio lakini nasema wakishakata tuseme wamekata na ninataka we uwe na imani hii huyo jirani yako anayelipo mshahara kama wako na wewe utoe fungu lako la kumi. si usipatie bishop wachana na bishop uwe mwaminifu kwa Mungu akupe kinga ya maisha yako huyo jamaa mpatie mwaka mmoja murudi mkapimwe kifedha kimaendeleo utakuwa umenyanyuka mara kumi. that's what the bible says ama wengine amsomage biblia danieli alikataa kula chakula cha akakula mboga walipopimwa walikuwa kwanza afya 10 times akili 10 times Can't we have faith in God? That the economy might go down. I refuse to go down with it. But when I touch the ground, I want to have faith which will be victory for me in the mighty name of Jesus. How many people are saying victory is for me? Victory is for me. Then what you need is faith in God. Sasa sijui wewe ni nini nakusumbua leo. Because Faith kwa sababu imani is your victory. Ni ushidi wako. Faith is your victory. Imani ni ushidi wako. Unajua kwa sababu ya shakahola <laughs> inatuumiza kidogo hiyo shakahola kidogo tu sio sana. Lakini kweli kabisa unahitaji muujiza mwingine na rabu yuko hapa. Si huni rabu. Na tunamjua. Na anaenda majuu anaingia ndege anaenda majuu yani we cannot have that faith je yeah, tuwezi kuwa na imani kama ile imani tu kidogo tu ikorogeke ndani yako because there are some people here kwa sababu kuna watu hapa you need money unahitaji fedha kwanza nasikia kuna mtu hapa ana kuna 500,000 inamsumbua na inamtishatisha sana na usisimame kwa sababu unaitaka nasema yule alikuwa akiitaka unajua sasa why you miss your miracle is because you don't hear what the preacher is saying sababu unakosea mujiza wako ni kutosikiza si, si nani anataka 500,000 i'm saying umekuwa ukisumbuliwa na hiyo huu mwezi <laughs> hii mwezi imekuwa kali sana kwako 500,000 sijui unataka kufanya nini ai Sijafunuliwa hiyo lakini kuna watu hapa kweli kabisa hiyo imekuzumbua 1500 1500 na umesikia faith is your victory baba ushidi even over that one. can i pray for you ni kuombee then if you are the one stand na kama ni wewe simama not because you want it si kwa sababu unaitaka but because it is what has been bothering you See, the, the lord can set you free mungu anaweza akakuweka huru the lord can deliver you mungu anaweza akakukoboa in the mighty name of jesus katika jina la yesu i'm also sensing some people here although you niliuliza watu wa biashara hamukusema There are some people here you are pushing some contract somewhere. Kuna mtu anasukuma kadarasi mahali. It appears like it is not going through. Lakini inaonekana ni kama haipendi. It is not kakra kababra but I'm saying you are faith in God. Sio sarakasi lakini. Now that is your victory. Kuwa na imani ndani ya Mungu huo ni ushindi. Would you stand on your two feet? Unaweza simama kwa miguu. In the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. You could be here and you are unwell in your physical body. And for the last couple of months. Oh it has costed you so much. But you are not coming through yet. But I have said victory is yours. But faith is the victory. Or do you want to stand up I'll pray for you too. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know yourself. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our heavenly Father. The Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Christ. If faith is my victory. Of a sin. Of anxiety. It is over everything in my situation. And circumstance. We stand today because Lord God there are some of us 
Kuna baadhi Oh this have a million shillings. Hapo unahitaji milioni. And they want to believe you for. Wanataka kukuaminia. Oh God there is no place that we can tell them put it is going to multiply. Hakuna mtu anaweza weka Apart from saying there is one They need to have faith in him because he knows how to supply our needs according to his riches in glory. Silver and gold are his. Cut on a thousand he are his. I speak that faith into them. Let that faith become their victory. If there is a door they are going to knock, may they have faith and to go to that door in the mighty name of Jesus. Faith is their victory. Lord God, there are some that are standing. There are some document. Could be a contract. They were going to place it somewhere. They have been wondering how they will do it. But faith is our victory. We, I want to pray for all that document. Wherever they are in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit may faith to trust you be born within every one of them father may this couple of weeks coming from today we want to fill the whole church with the echoes of praises they are those your father that are seeking healing faith faith in god not some oil not some kakraka babra here and there but faith in god the healer he walked on earth and he healed father may you heal your people today and praise and glory will not come to this CKZ. Faith will not, a praise will not come to Bishop Kimani, but all praise and glory will be unto you. There are some of our heavenly father that have been struggling with various sins for situation. I want to speak faith that becomes victory of our coming the power of sin, the guilt of sin, with the legal or emotional in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we give you thanks. We give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Look at about five people. Look at five people. Tell them, give them high five. And tell them, victory is ours. But faith is the victory. Oh, tell them faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. Even our faith in God. Blessed be the name of the Lord.